Living independently and with dignity, it is what we want for ourselves and our loved ones. Care Coast Shoreline, an in-home care agency, helps people do that and much more. Joining me now are Helga Fanner, the founder of Care Coast Shoreline, and joined by DJ Nucci, a care manager. It's great to have you ladies with us. Thank and you. Thanks for having us. Before we take a look at what we're going to be cooking today, let's talk about what CareCo is all about. DJ, tell us more about it. You know, CareCo is really about keeping clients home safe with help, making sure that they're eating well. And, you know, I think as you age, you your appetite decreases. Absolutely. So it's really important when I do a care plan that I discuss with them you know, what do you like to eat? And they go, oh, really nothing. But once you start talking about it, it's like, oh, I do like ice cream, and I do like eggs, and I do, you know, they do like to eat. What is it that they but do? They, that, what, did they forget to, to eat? I, oh, oh they it? definitely forget to eat, and they, they have no interest in cooking any longer. Oh, that's so, what it is. So, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, we talk to the caregivers and make sure that we have a plan in place and make sure that they're eating three meals a day. Very good. And, and enjoying what they're eating. And there's so much food here. Now, you actually had a contest. Is that right? Can you tell us more yes, about that, we Helga? Did. We had a contest with the rehabs we work with that we partner with and mm -hmm. assisted livings and the nursing homes in Connecticut and they submitted recipes um, some are diabetic some are just plain old good food and um, and you have a lot of great food right in front of us here so these are some of the winners yeah right in front of these us and this are. is like this is a yogurt parfait it's a yogurt parfait and then this is this is a ginger lime spritzer and in front of us is, is yeah, this is the winning asparagus? recipe. Oh, the, that's the, oh, the, as, in, oh. the in front of us is the asparagus. Oh, the asparagus. Um, the asparagus is wrapped, um, in, wrapped in brigitte. brigitte. And then the other two to your right? To my right is this was made by someone's grandmother, one of our clients. And um, th these are her recipes for appetizers. They're very diabetic. And this is a definitely a diabetic recipe. And, for, all, and all the recipes are going to be in a fabulous cookbook. Yes, they are. And that's, they'll be ready soon, is that right? Yes, we're still compiling it. We received such a huge response that we're not quite <laughs> done with it. Okay. <laughs> and as we were talking, DJ was putting together the recipe here. Yeah, this she's is going absolutely the winning crazy. recipe. If you love salmon, you're going to love this. What exactly did you do to the salmon? Okay, we um, put a little olive oil in a pan. We put it skin side down. We covered it with a little bit of lemon juice and then a salt that's made out of um, sun-dried tomatoes, lime juice, and a little tiny bit of grated ginger. And on top of that, we put a, layered, a layer of onions, and the onions were simply put in the microwave and with a little butter and a little bit of the sauce. We scooped it over that. Fresh tomatoes, olives, Kalamata what kind of olives? olives. Okay. Kalamata. Did you do anything to the olives? We put the same sauce in the Kalamata olives. So this sauce is really a key component mm, for this recipe. absolutely delicious, and it will be in the recipe. Okay, great. And then you added the tomatoes, mm -hmm. and then you added what herb is that? That's cilantro. Cilantro. Yes, okay. Cilantro. So that's it. And then you put it in the oven put for how oven. long? We put it in the oven for, I believe it's 25 minutes. Okay. And can we switch it out and take, oh, yeah. show everybody exactly what it looks like? The can is a little bit. Whoops. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're busy here in the kitchen. And basically, this is what we went end up with. Okay. And it will oh, look nicer on a platter. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but that's what it's going to look like when it comes out of the oven. <laughs> right, that's so, what it So it's easily like. taken out of the oven, this, this pan, oh, and yeah, then you put it in right out. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that looks great. Oh, slide in. We have a dish we could slide in on if you like. or, or um. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's talk more about what right. CareCo does. I know we have some photos, and uh, let's take a look at that. You are located where? Our main office is in Waterford, Connecticut. Um, we have a small office in Branford that takes care of the New Haven area. What are we looking at here? Um, that is actually our Memory Cafe, which is our, our nonprofit, um, CareCo Cognitive and the Memory Cafe, which is kind of what's hosting the cookbook contest to a certain extent. Um, a lot of the cooking, test cooking, was done at the <laughs> Memory Cafe. At the Memory Cafe. Cafe. And you can see some of our helpers are in the cookbook. Good. We had all ages. And we just saw the picture for the medical. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. That's our medical building, which is not open yet. It's not open It's yet. not quite open. We're waiting for the state to give us the final okay. So people come to you for what specifically? They come to us for home care. So even though we have buildings that we do things in, we go to people's homes. We had an art program that's going to open again where the artists actually went to people's homes. This is an art program? Well, that's part of what's at the Cognitive Fund. Okay. But now. You also have something that you want to tell everybody. First 25 people to call CareCo, what do they get? 
They get a cookbook. They get a cookbook? <laughs> a wonderful cookbook. <laughs> and they get to know more about what CareCo is all about, Absolutely, right? they get that, to know what CareCo is all about. And that first, that phone number you need to call is 1-888-98-CARE-1. So that's the first 25 people to call. Yes, they'll yes, get that. they'll receive a copy. Yep. How many people are you serving now along the shoreline? Roughly. Oh boy, 150. Hundreds? Yeah. 150 along the show. That's yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. We're in Hartford. We have an office in Hartford. Well, the services so sucks and... are so needed. Mm -hmm. and we're Absolutely. seeing the the older population increasing more and more. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and you know they want to stay home. They do. They want to stay home. They want to be where they're safe and secure. And the families feel better if they're home with care. And it's. It's it works out thing. beautifully. Absolutely. Really. <laughs> and of course, you get to learn how to eat healthy as well. So be sure to check do. out that. Can we book. check on them? <laughs> all right. For more information on CareCo Shoreline, all you have to do is visit carecoshoreline.com or call that toll free number 1 888 98CARE1. As well as for the first 25 callers, you get that cookbook. Thank you. It was wonderful to Thank meet you. Thank you. We're going to try you. this later? Absolutely. Okay. Great. <laughs> Coming up next, we're talking storm chasing with a member of the Weather Edge team when Connecticut Style returns. <laughs>